My name is Fran Sands and this is myboxingcoach.com. Um, we've on the site we've covered footwork, foot movement, okay? We've moved in and moved out, moved side steps left and right. Um, the subject of this video is to look at how we move diagonally to the left, both forward diagonally and diagonally on the retreat. It's simple, um, pretty much like moving left, but what it does, moving diagonally uh, allows you to vary your attacks or vary your angles of attack, okay, and vary the way you actually approach an opponent. But probably more importantly, it allows you to, rather than repeatedly going in and out in a straight line against an opponent, you can actually come off at, at angles um, so that any shots coming back at you, uh, your opponent finds it more difficult to strike with straight shots. Okay. So let's go through the mechanics of it. It's nice and neat to consider sort of the points of a compass north, east, south and west. And what we're looking to do with this first move is move northwest. Okay, so we're about halfway between moving forward and moving left. Okay, from the stancing on guard position, simple push off the back leg and we step across. Okay. Same again. Now the same principles as it is with side step, and what we don't want to do is cross our legs. Let's do it again. A little push off the back leg. Step across. Okay, so you can see the kind of direction that a shot would go past. From there, step across. Okay, to push off the back leg. As with the side movements, as I say, don't step and drag because you're just not going to be able to generate the kind of speed that you need in order to strike back at the opponent. Now, moving backwards diagonally to your left for an orthodox boxer is, can be quite awkward. Okay? So what we need to do is be pragmatic about it. It's awkward to try and actually dissect the, between the two points of the compass behind you, the, the, the south and the west. Okay? So what we need to do is move just behind the sides. So from there, a push from the front leg and we step across and back, okay? Across and back. Now when you try this, you'll know what I mean when it comes to, um, it, it's actually the same is true when you look at moving diagonally right on that video. It's more difficult to move perfectly in a 45 degree trajectory from there. You actually have to just come up off the side, okay? So just behind, from there to there, okay? Again, remain on the stance, push off the back leg, and the front leg steps back and across. Okay? Don't step and drag. Okay? Nice and simple. So there's your move forward to the left and backwards to the left. Okay? Nice and simple, but uh, diagonal movement really allows you to be more dynamic in terms of when you're attacking and when you're defending. Okay? So it's worth building in, it's worth separating it out from side and forward movement. And you can build that in during shadow and bag work in order to vary up your, uh, your attacks and, and make your defensive work all the more effective. My name is Fran Sands. This is myboxingcoach.com.